All right, John, thanks so much. Well, it's day five for students in the Kenton County Schools and for the kid kindergartners there, that's five full days of classes. Yes, the district launched full day kindergarten for the first time this year. And Joe Webb went back to school <laughs> today to see how they're doing. We're going to sit in a big circle on our carpet. It's one o'clock and these five-year-olds have been with Mrs. Stevens all day. They just finished up with Jim and are settling in to study math. I can count to five. One, two, three, four, five. They are among the 1,043 kindergartners in Kenton County's first year of full day kindergarten. Mrs. Stevens says the children are keeping up. They're doing really well. I feel like I'm allowed, I'm able to teach them a lot of things that I wouldn't be able to do in just a half day program. Three out of four American school children start with full day kindergarten. Kenton County made the decision after their own studies showed that full day students lacking in math and reading caught up with and passed half day students. There are other benefits. Our kindergarten students since they're here full day they're taking part in every activity just like the rest of our students would. So they're following behavioral expectations much, much quicker. Full day kindergarten is costing the district about $1 million. They hired about 20 new teachers. Fort Wright Elementary ran the district's pilot program last year for full day kindergarten. They worked out most of the logistics, so there weren't a whole lot of surprises this school year except for one, the amount of traffic when everybody shows up at the end of the day to pick up their children. Despite any new costs, the benefits of full-day kindergarten are time-tested and proven. Jenny Stevens spent eight years teaching first grade. She's seen what it can do. They're going to be well prepared. They're going to be ready to learn. They're going to have so much instruction time with us, double the time. Um, they're, really going to, they're really going to be ready for first grade and beyond. And that is what it's all about. In Fort Wright, Joe Webb, Local 12 News. And before this year, Kenton County was one of only nine districts in Kentucky that still had half-day kindergarten.